In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step step how I scaled this guy right here. We haven't even launched this community yet from zero to 10,000, even $20,000 with this paid community. The first 30 days, literally he has only, how many, how many followers on Instagram do you have? 7,400, 7,460. 7,460 followers on Instagram. Like considered, what would you consider yourself? Like a micro, micro influencer, right? I'd say so, yeah. Every single one of you guys is going after these huge ass influencers, like these huge fitness creators. If you guys watched my last video, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys go after these huge creators and still can't do numbers. I gotta show you guys firsthand why follower count literally does not matter and niche is the most important thing on earth. Brez, explain to them a little bit about what you do and then I'll go into exactly what the community is gonna be about. So. Basically what I do is I run ads for clothing brands. I work a little bit outside that niche as well, but my main kind of thing I'm known for is running ads for clothing brands and helping scale brands from 10K a month to 80K a month or whatever it is, whatever the numbers may be. But basically helping brands scale out and reach new audiences with paid ads. Yeah, so basically he runs what most of you guys know as like an SMA or like an agency type of thing, but he's really just a freelancer. He has a pretty good personal brand in the clothing brand space. He's really known for running Facebook ads for these guys and blowing them up, um, usually just solely with paid traffic. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be creating a paid community for people to learn how to run the ads like he does. So he charges $2,000 a month for his services for him to run ads for brands, and he makes a lot of money doing that. But there is a big part of the population that cannot afford for him to run their ads for them. So, or, or brands that don't qualify to work with me because the brand isn't set up well enough yet. Exactly. So for all these other people that don't qualify to work with them, whether that's financially, just brand wise in general, we're going to actually funnel them to the community to learn how to run the ads themselves at a lower price and set up their brand properly to perform well with ads. So there's more value than just how to, how to run ads. Exactly. So basically in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step our process, everything from our launch setup to our email campaigns, to our SMS campaigns. I'm going to be giving you guys hella sauce on untapped methods on how to actually go about launching your community. Cause I guarantee you how much, what is your prediction for how much you'll, you think we'll do first week? I think 10 K is definitely within reason. So most of you guys struggle to get to 10K a month with people with a million followers on Instagram. I'm going to show you guys that if you can partner up with someone with a smaller follower count in the right niche, you can blow up crazy and you can make stupid ass money. So we're literally launching this community in about three hours. We're launching at 4 p.m. our time. Um, so this is just the intro clip of the video. Again, I'm gonna be showing you guys the whole process of the launch and doing it live to show you guys that I really do this shit and it wasn't luck and I'm gonna do it again. And if you could get someone like this on board with a smaller follower count, but in the right niche, you can print fucking money. So let's get into it. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be breaking down to you guys all of our pre-drop systems. So for this niche, we took a little bit of a different approach than I would for a majority of people, but I'm really going to be showing you guys all the systems we use to launch and put in place. So hopefully you can replicate them if your creator is in somewhat of a similar position. Now, the thing is with this, some of you guys will try to take these systems and copy them and run with them, but these systems really pertain and change within each creator. So obviously the very first step you want to do is market research, AKA figuring out what the actual audience wants. And for this niche, which is clothing brand owners, I already really understood who we're actually targeting and what they would want because of my other community is also clothing brand owners. So I didn't do any market research at all. And honestly, the content inside the community was really straightforward. It's literally just learning Facebook ads for clothing brands. That is it. All right guys, so what we did is we hired a DM setter. So someone who sat in Brez's DMs every single day for two weeks before drop. And so before we even announced the course at all, we didn't say the course or anything, he got a ton of people that wanted to work with him and have him run the ads for them. So what we did is we set up a little application in his DMs and everyone who wanted to work with him, we sent to a type form application and we gathered their contact info. So all these people wanted to work with him. Uh, so everyone that slid in his DMs, we sent them to this application. And obviously you could see like what's their budget and marketing. Um, this color coding is something that our setter did like to follow up with people and stuff like that. So don't worry about that. But yeah, so we had, uh, we figured out all their numbers, you know, what was their monthly marketing budget and stuff like that. And then everyone, we had another setter come in and look at these applications and call up the people who had the good budgets for Brez's agency and booked in a call with them. And the people who couldn't afford to, um, the people who could not afford to work with Brez, 
another setter came in and called these people that didn't have the right budget and to downsell them on the course in the community, which is $500 rather than $2,000 for Brez's services or $500 for the actual community. So we have all these people's contact before they even knew a course was dropping. So all these people wanted to work with Brez in the DMs. Um, all these people wanted him to run their ads for them. But all the people in red are the people who don't have the right budget are the people who we reached out to and tried to sell them on the course. So really what the course was doing was acting as a downsell for people who couldn't afford Brez's services. And then on top of that, what would happen is from TikTok, a bunch of people would slide in Brez's DMs and ask to either work for him, ask to for a mentorship, ask if he does mentorships, ask if he had any type of program or anything coming in the future where they could learn what he does on their own. In those people, we created a separate type form application that so the DM setter two weeks before was collecting all these people who were DMing him, asking if he does any type of mentorship or anything. He told them, hey bro, we're releasing a program in about a couple weeks. If you wanna get early access, here's the application. Send him the application and then we collected all their emails and contact info here. So what we did with these this contact info, we got everyone who was interested in a program or learning from Brez himself. We got all their emails and all their phone numbers, which I'll get into in a second with what we did with OnDrop. So just to recap that, because it was kind of confusing, we had we hired someone to sit in his DMs for two weeks prior to launch and collect everyone's info, all their emails and numbers. One application was sent to them if they wanted Brez to run their ads for them, and one application was sent to them if they're interested in any type of mentorship, any type of consulting, learning from him, working for him, anyone who wanted to learn what he does on their own, we sent him to a separate application for the course for the pre-drop early access list. And then on top of that, the people who applied to work with Brez and have him run their ads for them, which is $2,000, the people who filled out the application and didn't have the right budget, the setter who would sit on the applications all day and call people up and text them, he would downsell them on the course because it's a cheaper option rather than Brez running their ads for them. Especially with people in the make money online niche, they'll get DMs every single day asking for people to learn what they do, put them on the sauce, you know, mentorships, anything like that. And you don't want to lose those people's contacts because those are the warmest leads. They're reaching out to you and they want to learn from you. So we made sure we captured all those leads two weeks prior to launch. All right. The very second step we did was we actually crafted the VSL. VSL stands for video sales letter, if you didn't know. And so on launch day, what we did, I'll get into it in a second. And I'll show you guys everything. But basically what we do is we funnel all the traffic in his DMs to a video of him, a loom video of him reading over this, explaining what the community is, what it's about um, and how it fits for people and obviously building scarcity and stuff like that. So you guys can pause and read this if you want. Um, but really simple stuff, really short and really simple. A lot of you guys try to make 30 minute long, you know, VSLs, create scarcity and, cre and sending them back to his DMs with I'm in. And once the DM closer sees I'm in, they're going to go ahead and close them, which I'll show you guys in a second. Basically the purpose of the VSL is to sell people on the community, help them recognize who it's for and help them recognize who it's not for. So basically it's a sales letter explaining to them if the, they should buy the community or not. And then at the end of the sales letter, it gives them a call to action. In this case, it was I'm in. It was to DM Brez I'm in on Instagram. And then once the DM closer sees those keywords I'm in, he's gonna try to close them out from there on the community. The final product of the VSL is gonna look something like this. It's just a loom video of him in the bottom, recording, reading over this, and then giving that call to action at the end. All right, the third step is to create the actual school. Obviously there's members in here because I'm recording this post drop. Um, but basically really simple community. People can talk. We have 48 members right now. Um, you know, the classroom section where you can see the foundations, the intro videos, the actual ads course themselves. Um, not going to leak that sauce elite round tables for people who are performing really highly and it incentivizes them. So when they get hit certain numbers and certain benchmarks, they'll get added to it, uh, an elite group chat. Every single live call on the calendar will be recorded and put in here. So the calendar is right here. They have a call tonight at 7 PM. That's all that's on the calendar for now. Uh, members right here, leaderboards, um, made some funny little ROAS jokes. If you understand Facebook ads, you get that. Um, the, and then the about section also has the VSL on it as well. So really, 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 really simple community. A lot of you guys are tripping too much about how the community should look and what should be inside. Honestly, you just need to launch the community and you'll figure it out as you go and build it as you go. But in this case, it was really, really simple because they just wanted the Facebook ads course. We put that in there and everything else is just kind of extra. All right, so the very first step we wanted to take is to start teasing the community a little bit. So what I mean by that 
is we want to funnel as many people into the dms as possible and start whispering that there's something coming so we had them start throwing up stories like this just to get people on edge a little bit and feel like there's something coming and getting as many people to dm them as possible so we can get those people onto the pre-drop list and 24 hours before we drop the community we threw up this story post with the application for the pre-drop sign up we framed it like super scarce only limited spots if you want to sign up and get early access you have to sign out this form and that way we collected all their emails and their sms so on launch we launched an email campaign and an sms blast which i'll show you guys in a second so with us teasing everything with the setter in the dms for two weeks prior um and with that story post with the link to sign up for the pre-drop list we had around 700 people's contact info that wanted to be in this program now you guys are probably thinking how the fuck did you get 700 people to sign up guys this is a gap in the market and this is what i'm talking about when i say be a free thinker and get creative this program no one even thought of doing you have to find things that are gaps in the market the reason why my clothing brand community with caprice printed so hard is that it was such a gap in the market so there was just nothing like this available and the same thing with this even though we only have 7,000 followers he got over 700 people to sign up for the pre-drop waitlist. So we have all their contact info. Again, it's literally just a gap in the market. You guys need to find these little niches, find these little services that have gaps in the market. Stop going after fucking fitness creators. You just have to find gaps in markets. And I guarantee you can start printing money because you're gonna be the only one doing it. I'm not one to say saturation is a big thing, but you guys need to find things that are untapped. Like that's how you're gonna make real moves and real money and real differences in the space. All right, so on launch, this is the email blast we sent out. Super simple to the point. I'm no email god. I just came up with this really quickly. 60% open rate, 20% click rate on the link. Um, really simple like it was really nothing crazy again I'm not an email god, but this blast definitely did some work in reminding people that were already on the pre-drop list So again those people all these emails we sent to all these people and on top of that We also sent it out an SMS blast now I'm not the one who did the SMS blast because Brez actually did that he had experience doing that I've never done it before so he handled that so I can't show you guys that on launch This is the story we threw up right here framing it super scarce limited spots swipe up with the word scale And we also sent out that email blast and the SMS blast to the VSL So everyone that split up on the story on launch and clicked on the email link or the SMS link Got sent to that VSL that I showed you guys earlier So as you guys can see on that Instagram story we put up on launch it said swipe up with the word scale and I'll show you guys the automation i set up for that all right guys here it is so every single person that swiped up with the word scale as you guys could see um an automation got sent so there's 292 times the automation got sent and it actually waited 50 seconds so it looks real so it doesn't just automatically respond as soon as they swipe up with the word scale it says bet brody watch this vid if you watch this vid all the way through and let me know if you want to walk in a spot and then it sent them to this vsl right here so once it sends them to the VSL, again, at the end of the VSL, there is a call to action saying, DM me, I'm in on Instagram. And then from there, the closer that we have, James, who's here actually right now, when he sees the I'm in, that's when he starts the closing process, which I will show you guys. All right, guys, here's what the DMs would look like. So this is on many chat. This guy didn't close, obviously, but so after they watch the VSL, they're going to text him, I'm in on Instagram. This guy said, please, bro. We qualify them a little bit in the DMs. Um... Please add me to the school calls word. I only have a few spots left. Build that scarcity. Yes, bro. Yes, I'm sure, Brody. And then we send them this link through click. And then it's gonna take them to this click funnels page right here. Where they get to see what it contains one more time. And then they can purchase it for $4.97. Now the trick here, obviously, some more results just to flex on them. So it's $4.97, usually $12.97. So the point of this actually is that so when someone comes back in the DMs and said, Oh, that's too expensive, I can't afford that. We actually have a duplicate ClickFunnels page that they have an option to pay $300 twice. So instead of paying $500 now, they can pay $300 first month, $300 second, second month. And then that's where we downsell them on that option if they can afford that. But that's pretty much the ClickFunnels. That's the DM system. It's really not complicated to go at all. Again, if your audience is engaged and wants this, then this is honestly a really good price for this for this community. At least is lifetime access, no monthly subscription because it just wouldn't work for this community. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is another trick that we used for my other clothing brand community with Caprice. We actually paid for a story promo from one of the biggest guys, probably the biggest guy in the clothing brand space. So obviously our service is learning Facebook ads for clothing brand owners. Um, as you guys can see, we paid $2.5,000 just for this story post right here. It got a ton of impressions. His, this guy's organic poll is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Like look at his engagement, 242,000 likes, 175,000 likes. Like this guy, 
is the king of the clothing brand space. So we thought it was really worth it to pay for this story promo, DM Berg and Resnick to scale your brand with paid ads. And this probably converted way more than 2.5K. On top of that, just the credibility it builds. So all the, a lot of people that follow Brez also follow Poppy Q or Quan. And so when they see that story, it kind of reassures them of the fact that this is legit. You know what I'm saying? So it just builds credibility, builds traffic. He gained over a thousand followers from that post in less than 24 hours of his target audience. So you guys can get creative with that. If there's another creator in your creator's niche that has big organic pull. You can pay them for a story promo and get a ton of more traffic into your DMs. And on top of that, not even just for the course, but for his agency itself, it probably brought in so many more clients. Like his requests were absolutely flooded after that story promo. And he charges $2,000 a month for one client. So even if he just lands one client from that story promo, it, the promo basically paid itself. So overall, it was a super, super, super smart investment. So that's pretty much it for the pre-drop systems. Just to run you through it again, basically what we did was collect a bunch of emails, a bunch of phone numbers prior to drop, send out an email blast, an SMS blast, and then also paid for a story promo from the biggest creator in his niche. Absolutely just flooded his DMs and sent everyone in the DMs to the VSL. At the end, if they like what they see, they're going to DM Brez I'm in on Instagram. And then from there, our DM closer, James, who's actually here and a random subscriber that we flew out just to do this, is going to close them out from there. Obviously, I'm recording this the day after we drop just to show you guys all the systems. But I'm going to go back to the live recording of us launching and stuff like that. So I'll catch you guys there. All right, we are now live. Post has just been. Let me see the story post real quick. Nice little scarcity drop right there. Automation, I'll show you guys in a second. All right, Someone we were, like told me. We just posted the story. We're getting some IMINs already from the VSL, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, we're closing them out, little closing script. Let's see if we can get a close. We're getting a ton of IMINs right now. It's an amazing sign. I mean, obviously everyone's gangster till the payment link comes, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know when we get our first sale. First sale locked, bro. It's been like a few minutes. Our DMs are absolutely flooded. Nine hundred ninety-four dollars. Peep these DMs, bro. They are fucking coming in like, like crazy. Bro, this is I. Can, you can't even keep up, bro. Like my Instagram's glitching. It's fucking going so fast. Bro, marketing bro. to the moon, bro. Let's go, James. Keep it up. He's fucking closing DMs like a motherfucker right now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, boys. We're like, how? What time is it? We're about an hour in, it's 5.15, we launched at 4 p.m. We're 3K up so far. So 3K up on the day in one single hour, bro. DMs are absolutely flooded. I'm putting in the hard work in myself right now, bro. I'm getting my hands dirty. James is closing DMs, I'm closing DMs. Bro, we're getting our hands dirty. Let me see the phone. Boys, is this easy, bro? Personal branding is that fucking crazy, bro. Like, you can just make, give, get people to give you $500 in your DMs that easily without bar barely having any conversation. It's actually so freaking wild, bro. Yeah, like I said, one hour in, we're 3K up. I think low-key, what do you think we could do today, bro? I feel like we could low-key hit 10K today. <sighs> I, I think so, bro. Bro, I dead ass think we could hit 10K today. How many followers do you have? Remind them. Um, well, Quan just, Quan just reposted my shit. Um, so it's went up like 200, but before this I had like 7,600 or, 7,600 or 400, some shit like that. It's at the beginning of the video, but now I'm at 7,871. All right, Brez, how many people have slid in your DMs and asked you to build a paid community for you? Probably like three, four, or five, something like that. Think about that, bro. Three or four or five. Like everyone sleeps on, like they probably saw he had less than 10K and thinks he can't make money. That's fucking ridiculous. Niche over everything. And if someone's well-known in their little space, they could print fucking money. It's one hour in, we're 3K up. Loki, we could hit 10K today, bro. I genuinely believe that. So That's I'm gonna get- goal. 10K is the goal now. That's the goal. Yeah, saying. 10K by what time? By midnight. By 10K by midnight, watch, bro. So I'm gonna give you guys another update then. I'm about to get my hands dirty some more, close some DMs, and I'll catch you boys. All okay. right, bro. Wait, wait, before you show the camera, what time is it right now? It is 8.50. What time did we launch at? Four. How many followers on Instagram do you have? We paid for a promo, so. 8.2K. 8.2 thousand followers on so Instagram. Up like 600. It's been about four hours, a little over four hours. How many, what's up, how many, uh, I'm being retarded. <laughs> what, how many sales have we done so far? Okay. 10 Nine, fucking K. 9.8K and we have more on We, had, we, we have, got a payment on Cash App and a payment on Zelle because their payments weren't going through with Stripe. So we hit fucking 10K, boys. Boys, it's that fucking easy. You guys are struggling to hit 10K a month with fucking a million followers. Bro has 8K 
Just hit 10K in four hours, bro. 10K a month is the babiest number We're on earth, nice bro. fucking dinner tonight. We're about nice. to go to a nice dinner. Look at the view, bro. You guys need to start fucking working harder. You broke motherfuckers. <laughs> James, how do you feel after DM closing for 30 hours? Oh my god, dude. Bro was sitting on the couch for 30 hours and wasn't allowed to get up till he uh, closed 10k. No, he had to, no, we wouldn't dude. let him go up and I was go, so determined. We wouldn't let him get up off the couch oh. and go to the bathroom until we had 10k. That's what I'm saying. We were thinking 10k in a week, 10k a month, hell no. 10k in one day with 8,000 followers. We're about to go celebrate. About to go get some get a nice dinner. How do you feel, bros? Feel fucking great, bro. Something light. It's really ten ball in a day. It's just something light, bro. It's really nothing crazy at this point. I'll catch you boys in the next clip. Celebrate with the boys. I forgot to record this, but we had some steak, some lobster. Bro, how you feeling? Good, bro. But fuck, I thought I turned the audio off on my story. <laughs> you can just use it for this. Do you guys like this group? You're good. You're good. I gotta repost it, bro. No way I can leave. Right, let me see the bill, bro. Listen to it. $80 tip, 340, 420. Psalm line. Alright, guys. So, it's been, what time is it right now? It's 3.46 p.m. 46 p.m. One day, almost not even 24 hours after we launched. Last day we launched at 4 p.m. It's 3.46 p.m. the next day. Brez, show the numbers we hit, bro. Show Do the we numbers. Wanna show them? Do yeah, we want to show them? Yeah, bro. Show the numbers. Show the numbers. Show the numbers. $21,000. And that's not even including what? Not even including the 300 for a payment I received over Zelle, as well as my DM closer is on a flight for the next five hours. So he's not even in my DMs, and my DMs are still flooded. Um as well as my setter is just now starting to cold call people. So he's going to be driving traffic in too. And what have I gained on Instagram? Over a thousand followers on Instagram yep, in the last that, 24 hours. From that quam promo that I told you guys about. That just goes to show you guys less than 24 hours, less than 8,000 followers on Instagram when we launched over $20,000. It's absolutely crazy, bro. So no fake guru shit. I just showed you guys the whole fucking thing from start to finish with a literal micro influencer. If this doesn't show you guys it's possible, I don't know what the fuck is. If this doesn't show you that I really do this shit, I don't know what the fuck is. If this doesn't show you that this guy makes too much money, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But like, bro, there's so much money to be made in this world. It's absolutely insane. Like you just have to get a little bit creative, a little bit smart, and you can start fucking making money too. There's motherfuckers selling courses on how to sleep well at night and they're making more money than your fucking family tree, bro. Like learn My skills. Mom sells a course. His mom sells a course. His mom I'm knows life coaching, bro. <laughs> bro, his mom is a better growth operator than you are, bro. On God. Guys, get creative. Make connections, move out of your parents' house, and make money, bro. It's that fucking simple. So that's it for this video. Guys, if you want to join my free Telegram channel, I have a free Telegram channel. I'm not selling anything attached to it where I literally just send voice notes. Don't put too much effort into it, but I send voice notes just dropping free sauce all the time. If you guys want to join that Telegram, it's completely sauce. I've had people say that it's changed their lives literally in my DMs. And so if you guys want to join that, follow me on Instagram and DM me and I'll send you the link. Do not DM me if you don't follow me. I don't text anyone back on Instagram that doesn't follow me. So if you, again, if you want that telegram, follow me on Instagram and then DM me and I got you. I'll send that over. We're, all, we're over 700 members now, which is absolutely crazy. So I love all you boys. I hope this video was useful. Showed you guys everything from start to finish. I don't know what else you guys even need, bro, to be honest, to be successful. So get it done and I'll catch you guys in the next video.